everyone, welcome back. So today I'm going to be filming a Q&A video. I feel like I haven't done a Q&A in a really long time, so I thought that it was about time I filmed another one. I headed over to Instagram, asked you guys to ask me some questions, and I've got them here on my phone right now. They are screenshotted. Um, the post is no longer on Instagram because I did ask for the questions quite a while ago. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to get straight in and answer some of your questions. Okay, so Phoebe asked, if you were to get another tattoo, what would it be and where would you get it? Okay, so that is a really good question. Um, I have in my head exactly what I want for my next tattoo. I'm not going to tell you what it is because I don't want to spoil the surprise, but I'm getting a tattoo on the back of my arm and I'm hoping to get it before the end of this year. Neve asked, where do you see yourself in 10 years time? Okay, so in 10 years time, I will be 29, that's almost 30. That is absolutely crazy. Um, I guess I'm hoping that I will be married, maybe have a child by the age of 29. Um, and yeah, just like be happy and feel secure in a job, maybe have a nice house um, and hopefully a French Bulldog. I think this is pronounced Ariella or Ariella Jade asked any advice for me going off to college in September. Um, you will be absolutely fine. Just be confident and look forward to it. Don't be scared about it at all. There is literally nothing to be scared of. Everyone is in the exact same boat. Um, and just try and make the most out of it and enjoy your time there. Okay, I'm not sure how to pronounce your Instagram name, um, but somebody said three favourite places to visit and three places you would like to visit. Okay, my three favourite places to visit are Brighton, probably London, and then um, I would say... Probably Ibiza because that's one of the places I've been on holiday quite a few times that I really like. So they're the three places I love to visit. And three places I would like to visit are New York. Um, I would also love to visit the Greek islands. So like Mykonos. And where else would I like to go? I would also like to go to Iceland and go to the like massive um, outdoor spring thing. Not really sure what it's called. Um, Ariella Jade said, how many pets do you have and what are their names? Okay, so I have got four cats. Yeah, we've got four cats. Um, we've got a boy cat called Milo and then we've got three girl cats. One is called Tilly, one is called Elise and one is called Boo. Ariella Jade also said, how many piercings do you have slash had and would you get any more? Okay, I initially wasn't going to answer this question but then I thought no you know what I share my life on this channel I don't really care I see it as my space about talking what I like to talk about and I've already posted about this on Twitter so if people want to know they can know anyway um, but basically I have got my two ears pierced I then had one of the tops pierced but then it went funny so I took it out I then got the other top pierced that went funny so I took it out but I can still get a stud in there I've had my nose pierced, I've also had my belly button pierced, and then the most recent piercing I got were both of my nipples, so yes. I've got my nipples pierced, and I like it, and I don't really care what anyone else says. I think this is such a funny question, um, I'm not sure how to pronounce her name, maybe it's Bria Bear Jones, I'm not sure, said there's a zombie in your room, you have to choose one makeup product to kill it, what would it be? <laughs> <laughs> um, I would go with setting spray and hope that I've got some setting spray here I would just spray setting spray at the zombie and hope that it killed it or like burned its eyes or something Charlotte said where do you get your computer desktop backgrounds I love them but can never find them okay so you guys can probably see my computer desktop here um, I've also got a similar kind of one on my laptop I literally type in on Google Pinterest quotes with a white background and there are literally hundreds of them so hopefully you can now find one The same girl whose name I'm really sorry, but I can't pronounce is it Bria Bear Jones said sneakers or heels um, I would definitely go sneakers. So um, in England we call them trainers So I definitely go with trainers just for comfort Caitlin asked who is your favorite youtuber and why okay I don't have one specific favorite youtuber they always change like literally every week I will be like oh I have a new favorite youtuber at the moment it's Kathleen lights I'm obsessed with her makeup tutorials and I literally watch them every day and I think she's amazing blogging little beauty things asked what is the best thing about having a blog um, I love being able to express myself and just kind of like the freedom of being able to post whatever I want on there. I'm pretty sure that is the best thing. 
Jess asked, what's your go-to night out outfit? And what is your favourite high-end product that you would recommend to anybody? Okay, so my go-to night out outfit would probably be either a plain black dress, like a short black dress, or a play suit and then kind of uh, pair it with heels. I love wearing play suits, like they are my new favourite thing. I also love jumpsuits, um, but I feel like you can wear quite a plain casual outfit, make it a little bit more dressy with heels and put some silver hoop earrings in and a dark lipstick. That is like my go-to outfit. And um, a high-end product I would recommend to anyone would probably have to be Zoeva makeup brushes or Kevin O'Quan sculpting powder. Vicky said, what did you take for your GCSEs? Love your channel, thank you. Um, what did I take for my GCSEs? Okay, so I did like the standard English, math, science, that kind of thing, ICT, um, religious studies, and then I chose to take health and social, food technology, and art and design. I think they were the only three that I took. Jordan Hookway said, how do you pull such a hottie? Ha ha ha, ha. You're probably not even watching this video, so. Madison said, what is your best advice for starting a YouTube channel? Okay, I actually recently did um, a blog post that's kind of related to that question, so I'll leave a link to that down, down below to that in the box because I don't really want to go into too much detail. But basically, if you want to do it, just do it. I know that's probably really rubbish advice, but just don't let anyone stop you. If you want to do something in life, just do it. So if you want to make a YouTube channel, make a YouTube channel. Oh my God, it's the tag hanging out my... Oh, could you guys see that? Did you see that? I don't know. Let's just tuck that one away. Keisha, I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce the name, Keisha Gordon said, tips for staying fit and healthy on holiday. Okay, I'm probably not the best person to ask for this considering as soon as I go on holiday, I basically live off of chips, bread and pasta. Um, but you can always get like nice fresh fruit and stuff abroad, which I do try and eat. Um, so yeah, if I was trying to be healthy on holiday, I would make sure that I drank plenty and plenty of water. I do drink a lot of water when I'm on holiday, but obviously if you're in the sun, it's even more important to keep yourself hydrated. Um, eat lots of fruit and veg, like fruit and veg is available in other countries, obviously, so just make sure you still eat loads of fruit and veg. Um, obviously if you are going to a hot country, you're not gonna be wanting to do lots of exercise because you're going to get really, really hot. So um, doing like some swimming and stuff in the pool, aerobics in the pool or whatever, you can do that would be a good idea as well um and yeah just like try not to stay too lazy and just like keep active and stuff whilst you're there i'm not sure is it michaela said if you were stuck on a desert island and you only had three items with you what would they be love 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 your videos thank you very much um if i was stuck on a desert island and could only take three items okay i would take some i would say water but then like could you drink the sea water i don't really know um, I would also say my phone, but then I probably wouldn't get any phone signal. Um, maybe a map, if I could read maps, that would probably help. Um, I don't know, maybe a person. <laughs> could I take a person with me and then they can think about the things that we need to think about? Oh my god, I'm literally going insane. I don't know what I'm saying, like I've been filming for a really long time now and I think I'm going a little bit mental. <sighs> okay, I need to calm down. And the last question I'm going to answer is from Amelia and she said if you could only ever use three makeup products for the rest of your life what would they be? Okay I'd have to say mascara, um, probably the Maybelline Lash Sensational, I would also have to say eyebrow products because I don't have eyebrows if I don't put my eyebrows on so I would go with the Soap and Glory Brow Archery and then probably foundation because if I get any spots and stuff like that, or if I want to make my skin look nice, I can. So I'd probably go with those three. Thank you so much if you sent me in a question to answer. Um, I will definitely be doing another Q&A soon because I have realized how much I actually love filming them. They're really fun to film and hopefully you guys will find this interesting as well. Um, so thank you for watching. If you've got any questions you want to leave me for the next Q&A, leave them down below or just make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter because that's where I usually ask for the questions. But thank you for watching. I hope that you liked it. Please remember to give a big thumbs up if you liked it. Remember to click subscribe down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye!